everyone, Stephanie Catcher at Remax and love living in Kitchener Waterloo. I'm here again with Lucky from Mortgage Ingenuity. You can find him on Instagram at Lucky Mortgages or Google Lucky Mortgages and find him and get a pre-qualification online. So that's what we're here to talk about today is pre-qualification versus pre-approval. A lot of you are running out there telling me you got a pre-approval in hand when all you did was go online. So today I brought Lucky and he's going to explain the difference between a pre-approval and a pre-qualification. Awesome. Thanks, um, thanks Stephanie. Uh, so pre-qualification um, and pre-approval, a lot of times people get the uh, misunderstanding. Uh, so when you go online or if you do a quick one minute uh, application, um, a lot of times people actually, it's actually a pre-qualification. What that basically means is based on your income and your monthly payments that you put in to the application, um, that's how much you can get approved for, for a mortgage. However, that actually might not guarantee you the mortgage because we haven't looked at your credit history. We actually haven't verified your income. Also, we haven't verified your down payment and your monthly payments. Uh, where it's come to, when it comes down to an actual pre-approval, we run down the credit history. We make sure your income documents are correct. So it's, we, it's a lot of times people, when they look at their income, they just give you round numbers. Where, for example, if you make 38,500, so a lot of times people will put 40,000. So when you go down to the pre-approval, we actually look at your credit history, verify your income documents, and we actually verify your down payment, and we actually look at the actual interest rate, so we guarantee that for four months. You'll get a formal pre-approval, and that would actually mean you're pre-approved for a mortgage. Just be careful when you're going online. Uh, like myself as, as well, we have a link to a pre-qualification, just kind of give you a quick one minute approximate amount that you can get. So the, what you would do if, um, if you're serious about buying, I would do a pre-approval, uh, so that way you go through the real application. If you're just kind of looking around, curious on how much you can get approved for, um, then I would do pre-qualification. -pre so I find pre-approval for all my clients is yeah. definitely required. A lot of them are going out, looking at homes, finding that dream house. They found their pre-qualification online, says they can buy up to 800,000. They might have a little bit of a blip on their credit history and can only afford up to 650, for example, and their dream home is now out of reach. So it's really important you guys get out there and get proper pre-approval if that's what you're looking for when you're serious for a home. Get there, get the right one for you, and obviously find out from Lucky what you can afford. That's not something I take care of, but someone like Lucky would do a fantastic job letting you know exactly what you would be pre-approved for so we can find you that perfect dream home.